Hey guys, HW here. I'm down in Surrey Hills in Sydney. Uh, with the new Matrix film coming up, I thought it'd be nice to come back to where it all started um, with the first Matrix, which was filmed in Sydney. I'm currently in Wetworth Avenue, and today, hopefully, what I'm going to do is film some of the locations that you haven't seen before. I've been online and had a look at what other people have done, and mostly they've just covered the obvious ones. Uh, like the fountain in Martin Place um, and uh, a few of the city um, skyscapes. So today hopefully you'll see a few new ones that you haven't seen before and I'll let you know what the streets are. So next time you're in Sydney you can come and check it out yourself. Come get around it with me. So here we are in Wentworth Avenue and this is where the chase scene starts and it starts in a subway station that as you can see doesn't actually exist and De Neo notices Agent Smith chasing him he quickly runs up the stairs and runs around the corner here and grabs a mobile phone or cell phone off a guy standing on the corner and this is the corner of Commonwealth Street Wentworth Avenue and Goldman Street he then runs through here and you can see there's a garden here now. Uh, there wasn't a garden there back in 1998 when they filmed it. And this building here, the Griffiths Tea Building, um, has been extensively renovated um, in the past 20, year, 20 odd years. So that's why it looks so different in the film. And uh, full of a lot of uh, different advertising agencies and, and um, companies like that now. But back in the day, it was a abandoned building. And Neo basically runs up Commonwealth Street. And in just in a minute, we're just going to turn around and give you the view that the camera takes um, as he's talking on his phone and um, organising to be pulled out of the matrix and that's the shot there oh, no, just... the shit at my phone Take out the back phone okay here we are in location number two for today also part of the uh, matrix chase scene and we're in foster street in Surrey Hills. It's actually just around the corner from Commonwealth Street where the last scene or the last part of the chase scene was filmed. And if we look down the street here. So here we are entering Foster Street from Campbell Street. And as we make our way down the, down the street here, um, it's actually quite steep uh, when you're here. Um, but on the film, um, it actually looks quite flat, but um, you know, as as per usual, that's the illusion the camera gives. And um, it looks a bit different, the street again from from the movie. Um, that building right at the end there, I don't remember that being there um, when it was being filmed. I think that's fairly new building. But all along here on both sides was where the market stalls were. Um, with people, I think it was set up to look like a Chinese market store. Um, and as we flip here, is when um, Neo's been chased down the down the street by one of the agents. So all there, market stalls on both sides. And as he flip around, he was getting shot at from that angle from um, Hugo Weaving. Um, who played uh, Agent Smith. And Foster Street dog, dog legs around um, and makes its way down to Elizabeth Street at the end there. And right here is where um, Neo and um, the lady who's ducking get, is getting shot at, which you'll see in the next clip when it comes on. So that's pretty much uh, Foster Street and that's the part of the chase scene with the uh, Chinese market stores. Oh shit. Uh, 
Oh, here we are at location three for the day. And this is the, this was used, this is Foster Street again. Um, and this was used in one scene where it looks like um, Agent Smith's standing outside a hotel. Um, and then Neo passes across the intersection uh, directly behind him. So I'll just get a film of that. Yeah, so that's the building over there that uh, Hugo Weaving, as Agent Smith, stood under when, in the background, Neo is being chased by the agents. We'll just move up the street here where we can actually see the intersection of Campbell Street and Foster Street there in the distance. And that's where he ran across the intersection there. There's the Hollywood Hotel on the corner. And I was disappointed to see this place had turned into a cafe. I wasn't expecting to have an audience when I was making this film. Uh... All right, here we are at the next location, which is the Campbell Street Railway Tunnel, where Matrix... Neo gets in the car and meets Trinity for the first time. So along this green line here is where the car was parked. And in the background you can see the Surrey Hills Hotel which shows up in the film with a bit of red lighting. And so this is where Keanu as Neo meets Trinity and Switch for the first time. And uh, it's raining in the film, and um, as such, they um, have some water running off the end of the tunnel there um, to give that dark, gloomy-looking night that they required for the film. And, um, yeah. Get in. And here's a, here's a boring fountain, boring fountain scene that everyone's filmed before. So again, this fountain is found in Martin Place. So a few uh, workmen out today with witches hats out, which make it look unattractive. But obviously in the film, there's a bunch of people walking around. Swing over here to the Western Hotel. I was happy, hoping to go in there and actually film the deja vu scene as well. But it was all closed up with lots of COVID restrictions, unfortunately. So another time. The system that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? All right, this is the last scene for the day where Matrix is actually, uh, or Neo's in a phone booth right here on this corner of Pitt Street. So you can see the two buildings that chop in the background during the film. That one there and also the Radisson Hotel and the columns. And you can see those clearly when Neo first comes out of the phone booth. The camera then pans around and catches him here. He puts his sunglasses on and looks up to the sky and does his magic Superman leap, which is a great uh, ending for the film, I think. As we pan back around, we can see an Australian phone booth where the American one was and we see those buildings in the background again that one and also the Radisson Hotel uh, obviously a lot of the um, a lot of the movie was filmed on sound stages uh, but of the streets that were used obviously there's a lot around Pitt Street in the city you know the Martin Place scene the Western Hotel deja vu scene and then the other ones down in Surrey Hills that I filmed earlier in the day so I definitely recommend if you come to Sydney as a tourist is um, locate these um, places on the map and go and have a have a look yourself it's actually quite cool to to do that when you're out on a trip um, and other than that let's all look forward to Matrix 4 which is due out on Boxing Day um, set in San Francisco Sydney sister city beautiful